How is it going everyone? My name is Hafo and this is day 4 of our, or my, 12 tips of Christmas and today we're going to be talking about motion tracking and after effects and we're going to be motion tracking some text to like a COD4 cinematic but you can do it with ob uh, obviously with anything so it could be you know something you've shot with your camera, FIFA it could be absolutely anything and this applies to basically anything as I've just said five times already, I don't know why I repeat it but yeah, so if I just scroll through you will see that the text follows the statue like so um, I, I don't know if you can see it very well but as you can see the text follows the statue quite nicely and it's smooth and it looks nice so what I'm going to do is I've just got um, here is my raw clip I cropped the edge off because basically it was just uh, let me quickly show you, it's just the cinematic on Cough or like if you record it in the in spectator mode so you can get you've got I want to get rid of the buttons and stuff so uh, right what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my clip and go to tracker if you don't have this little bar at the, the side you can go to window and click tracker as you can see I just clicked it off if I click it on it'll appear there now we're going to click track motion and we're going to select the point we want to track so I'm just going to do the corner of his top and then click uh, this little uh, analyze forward and as you can see that tracked very quickly and very nicely and as you now you if you scroll through you'll see that uh, yeah it's tracked smoothly so that's fine so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click in my timeline and go new and null object now what I'm going to do is on my target uh, no on my tracker I'm going to go to edit target layer null 6 which is my null object which I've just created now and click OK now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click apply to that apply X and Y yes OK now what I'll do is when I scroll through you'll see the null uh, bleh, you'll see the null object uh, can't speak tonight you'll see the null object is tracked nicely with like the guy so now what I'm going to do is create some text and to do that I'm going to click obviously my text button and then just type in tutorial like that and now I'm just going to drag that to where I want it to move so I want it to go about there and then I'm going to get this little spiral button which says parent next to, to like the text and I'm just going to drag that onto my null object like that and now when I move it my text moves too yay and that looks quite nice um, but obviously I want to make it you know a little nicer add it a bit of depth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to add some Gaussian blur so type in Gaussian blur under blur and sharpen in the effects tab up here if you want so blur and sharpen Gaussian blur and I'm going to change the blurriness to 3 or whatever you want to change it to maybe 2 might actually look quite nice now nah, 3 okay and then uh, we're going to get our little pen tool and cut around the guy and I'm, go I'm not going to take any time whatsoever on this because I want to do it quickly for a tutorial uh, you can take more time because you know you're going to have more time so now you'll see oh god right and then you're just going to obviously spend more time on that and cut around the guy as you'll see he's now blurry so I'm going to go to adjustment layer, click masks, and then where it says add, I'm going to drop down and click subtract. Now what I've got is the guy like that. The guy is unblurred and the rest is blurred. So I'm going to just change my feather as well to like 50 or something. Just so it doesn't look too ugly. And as you can see that looks quite good. My guy isn't blurred, but it, my guy isn't blurred, but the text is. So it kind of gives it a bit of depth. And if you wanted, you could actually drag the text above that. So the text looks like it's not blurred either and then the rest of the background would be. It's up to you. But yeah, that's just a very basic tutorial on how to track in After Effects. Uh, if you would like to see one on uh, Cinema 4D, I will leave the link in the description because I've already done that one, I've just remembered. And uh, yes, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Thank you very much and goodbye.